Jeez, what is wrong with me? Post show blues are real. World champion and bring it to our winner, Thinking of Folks, I'm crying. But promised that I would always try to keep it real and raw for y'all. I know a lot of you um, are new into competing and you have lots of questions and I want to be able to answer them all and be a resource for y'all, but I do have to keep it real. <laughs> this transition from prep to off season has honestly been pretty hard for me. Um, I haven't ever gone through this before. Like I, my last show, I didn't, um, my coach, I don't want to like bash on anyone, but I, um, wasn't given any reverse plan or anything. It was kind of like, I competed and then it was like, all right, see you later. Um, this time, obviously my coach is, um, amazing and we have a plan set in place, but it's kind of like, I don't know why I'm crying. Um, the reverse plan is a lot of food, which um, I think it's close to what I was eating going into the show, um, with, like, what I needed to carb up, but, um, just thinking about eating all that food is, like, playing on my mental a little bit, because weight is up about eight pounds from show, um, which is expected, like, my muscle cells and stuff have, um, glycogen in them. Um, I'll have to make a video, um, with my coach explaining everything because I don't really know the sciencey part behind all of it, but I haven't been looking at myself at all. I feel like, like my progress, um, is not gone. Like, I know it's not gone and I know that I'm not fat, but like, for some reason, the scale has never been a factor for me. Like, it never bothered me. And now I'm like, um, like, I got on it this morning. I was supposed to send check-ins. And I didn't like the number. It was up higher than it was yesterday. Um, and I was like, I'm not putting on a suit. I'm not putting on heels. I do not need to look at myself. Which, like, I think I'm able to say that for myself like if you're having a bad bo body image day like you shouldn't force yourself to be in those situations however I do need to check in and it is like for accountability um but I don't know I just was feeling overwhelmed and was like people need to know that this is I don't know if it's normal, but, like, this happens, and it's hard, and I'll get through it, but, um, yeah, the last, so we went haywire in that last video you saw, um, Saturday night, Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday, I was back home, and I ate mostly, um, I ate a couple meals of meat and veg, and then had a little bit of treats but I wasn't really tracking but I wasn't going crazy like I was um the days before and I think just like not having routine has been playing a factor for sure on my mental um but I don't know coach said he wanted me to run my training day plan starting today like I said it's a lot of food and I'm like god I don't want to get fat like um honestly quite scared um and my coach is like Lainey first of all you're fine and second of all if like we're gonna be watching you and if you're putting on too much body fat not necessarily weight like pounds on the scale then 
like he's like I'll be the first one to pull you back like that's not the goal the goal is to optimize um your hormones and everything and get you back to a healthy level so I think he calls it a um recovery phase because it's not necessarily a reverse yet it's like a little bit more aggressive at the beginning to get you back up to like I weighed 122 pounds on stage and in the off season I was almost 160 so like my body doesn't want to stay there but I also feel like I'm just having this mental stigma because I haven't been being perfect after being like close to perfect for so long I've been like enjoying a little bit of this or a little bit of that and now I just need to like get back to um at least tracking everything that I'm eating which I don't know I just feel like I'm going a little bit crazy um yeah this video had no point other than to show that like um I'm struggling and that's real and raw and that's kind of the reality of where I'm at right now but I have leg day today and honestly training has been like, like it feels so different having carbs in your body. I don't really know how to explain it, but it like I'm, my body is still really tired. Like my coach was like, Lady, don't do PRs because normally I'm a psychopath. Um, and I was like hurting myself eight weeks out and he was like, can you chill please? Like that's not the goal right now. Um, but I'm like, I honestly don't think I could even get a PR if I wanted to. Like, my body is so tired. <sighs> Anyways. That's my update for now. This is a mess. But we are one week post-show. <sighs> and I think also, like, it's like post-show blues are real. But it's like that dopamine hit, like so many days of like delayed gratification, like checking off all these boxes for something that isn't even here yet. And then you get to it. And like we did what we were supposed to do. The goal was always win Emerald Cup uh, or get the overall at Emerald Cup. And like we did it. And now I'm like, okay, like I feel like I have a loss of purpose. <sighs> Overwhelmed with choices freedom freedom's honestly scary like um Colton said my coach said I could free train so I could kind of do what I wanted he's like obviously like you know you need a quad movement hamstring you know all the things but um I was like can you just tell me what to do because like, like I don't want to think about anything I just want to do what I'm supposed to do which is crazy because at the beginning of prep I was like I was like, God, this repetitiveness is so annoying. Like, I just want to do whatever. And then after probably like six or eight weeks when I got like all my movement patterns down, I was like, this is what I do. And now I'm like, God, I can't make a single decision by myself. I just want to be a robot because it's easier and I don't have to have feelings. That's all I got for now. I'm going to get myself together. Hey guys, I just wanted to, um, the last clip you saw was me this morning crying, but I just wanted to kind of circle back for a second because um, I know myself really well. Like I have really good introspection. It's something I've worked on for a really long time. I know myself better than anyone. And like, I know how I feel after I do my cardio, or like whatever I'm trying to do, I know how good I feel afterwards. And just like I said, like during prep, like your feelings don't matter. It's the same outside of prep. Like this morning I was really just like, like I know all the facts, but it still is hard to separate like the number on the scale sometimes or whatever it is from how you feel about whatever it is. But I was just like, I finally got to the gym. It's 2.30. I normally train in the morning. It's Saturday, so whatever. But like I'm here and I already feel so much better about myself. Like not even because I don't look as bad as I think I do. But also like I'm doing things that benefit me and that make me feel good. So whether you're in prep or outside of prep or you are just a lifestyle person and you just enjoy going to the gym like... It's almost like holding on to your why. Like my why, I don't do bodybuilding to look a certain way. Like yes, everyone has like an aesthetic goal. 
like some people you know what you like on your body but i do bodybuilding and weightlifting because i love it like i don't know why i'm so emotional today but like my why behind everything is not chasing a show or a trophy or a pro card or whatever it's like i love I love challenging myself and I love the community that I have in bodybuilding. Um, geez, what is wrong with me? Um, so find your why with whatever you're doing and hold on to it because that's what will get you through the hard days. For me, I love training and it's fun and right now I'm doing free training which means um, essentially I can just kind of do what I want. Like I said earlier, hitting like muscle groups that I need to, but it's like, I forget that I do this because it's fun and I love challenging my body and I love how it makes me feel. So that is why I'm here today is not because, um, cause I want to become a wellness IFBB pro or XYZ. It's because I love this. And it's my therapy, so. I don't know, I just feel like I need to keep telling you guys what's happening and these veins in my forehead are like, also reminding me that I didn't gain 10 pounds of fat. I'm still very lean. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get myself together in one of these clips, just maybe not today.
thought I'd hop on, hop on. I'm literally fill. Okay. Anyways, um, the last couple of clips y'all saw was me last week having a really hard time. This reverse thing. It's trickier than I anticipated because, um, I, this is my first reverse. So I've never, my last prep one, I wasn't stage lean Two. Um, I think I just kind of ignored my feelings. I gained a lot of weight really fast. Not like an enormous amount, but like your body's depleted. You start eating food that it's not used to. You get inflammation. You get, you start holding water. And I really, a, a little bit let myself go last time. I didn't have a plan for my coach that I had at the time. This time my coach is really keeping me in check. Um, thank goodness for him because I have been struggling. But last week, um, so we really had that four-day binger like you saw in the last video, my show day vlog. If you haven't seen that, I'm going to link it right here. It's really like an hour of me and Colton eating food. It's so funny. Um, no regrets. But then during the week, it was, I was doing pretty good, but I was having a hard time. I hadn't this is the issue. I hadn't planned when I was going to do my cardio, do my training. I hadn't made like prepped meals. Like I had asparagus and stuff made, but I wasn't like, I'm like, I still want to eat sweets. So that was an issue there. But this week, yesterday, I prepped a ton of stuff. I made fun meals. So I took my macros that are in my meal plan and I made, um, what do I have? I'll show you guys. It'll be in this video. I already feel so much better. Um, today, just waking up, having coffee, um, going to the gym. I did half my cardio. I trained. My training has been like that free training. I'm kind of just doing what I feel, getting a pump. Cause honestly, like my body's still pretty tired. That's another reason last week probably felt like garbage is cause I was just like, I am exhausted. Um, Anyways, it's Monday. We're one week post show. And I will take you guys along with what I'm eating. This was my breakfast. Um, cream of rice, berries, whey, peanut butter. Um, and then I'll show you guys what I'm eating in there. This is a coffee. I got the Khalifa. I don't know what it's called. It's the oat milk almond, oat almond combination creamer in cookie butter. Oh my gosh. Mmm. So good. So I will see you guys at my next meal. But the point of this was that I'm feeling a lot better because I know myself and I know how I feel with routine. So I've just been like, Lainey, you just got to get back with your routine. Last night I ate my creamy in the bath like I used to do. I act like this was like ancient. This was like a week ago that I was doing all these things. But um, this morning I weighed myself and I was like, okay, I'm up 12 pounds from show, from depletion show. Like I was 122 on stage. Like I was, anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, but I'm practicing being kinder to myself. So today at the gym also, I was like, girl, you better take your shirt off because even though you feel like you look like shit, you are the leanest that you've ever been. And now your muscles have carbs in them. So you look like superwoman. So I forced myself to take off my shirt and train in a tank top because I know myself. I do. And if you don't know yourself, I encourage you to maybe do some journaling. Figure that out. But I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Today is Wednesday and I'm just coming on to talk a little bit, chit chat more about this 
whole reverse thing. I don't know if today I feel the way that I feel because of the weight I saw on the scale this morning or if it's because my cycle, I say that in quotes because I haven't had um, my period since maybe December, so like five months. Um, honestly, like I have, I think I talked about this in one of my vlogs before, but like I have never really had a consistent regular period. I've always like eaten too little and lost it or trained too much and lost it. So this is nothing new really for me. So I say cycle because I've been tracking like when I feel emotional or whatever as my period because you do although if you don't have your actual period come you still are going through hormonal cycles I suppose is what I'm trying to say so it says that my period is two days out so I don't know if I mean I'm sure that plays a big factor but I just did some journaling because I wanted to emotionally dump on somebody like I want I wanted to text someone and be like oh I'm having such a hard time yada 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 but we don't do that I answered some questions in my journal prompt I prompted myself but I came to the conclusion that I am strong I can do hard things and just because my journey doesn't look like some of the other journeys that I see on social media like that's fine and same with you if you don't relate to what I'm talking about or your journey looks different like don't think that yours is wrong because there's no right or wrong way to one like go about your fitness journey I suppose but there's also like so many different ways to skin a cat as they say so um I never want anyone to compare their journey to mine and think that they're not doing it right or whatever because that's what I've been doing on social media I'm like ah oh, look there's this person who's 11 pounds up post show like five months later which maybe some people can um maybe some people are able to this is really just me talking to myself like this is what my journal entry kind of looked like but um some people are able to gain muscle at a lower body fat and maybe some people can handle emotionally what being that low body fat does to you and makes you feel i know that i was a little bit miserable wasn't myself and like the toll that that takes on you is something that I don't think should be carried lightly like that's a really sensitive thing and it's hard so I also this morning I was supposed to check in with my coach and he's watching this and whatever I did the same thing on Saturday I weighed myself and I was like no I'm not putting on a suit I'm not putting on my heels um which is honestly a little bit sad like it makes me feel a little bit emotional because I'm allowing my feelings towards myself to dictate what I do which is the whole thing in prep I'm like it doesn't matter about your feelings be a robot but now I'm feeling like all of these things and there's no end goal um that I have to push towards so I'm just like eh, I'll make it out alive like I I'm allowing my feelings um, towards this scale, whether it be I weighed myself and was like, oh shit, like I'm not gonna put on a suit. So I should probably put on it. I should wake up, I should put my suit on, put my heels on, take the photos, send the video, and then weigh myself because it's just been a little emotional turmoil in my head with that so I know what I need to do I know what I should do I know the rationale behind all of it um but it's still hard to get over those emotions so so I'm giving myself grace because I know that these feelings will pass and they don't define me and I'm allowed to just have feelings and not let them ruin my whole day and I'm allowed to just be neutral towards my feelings because sometimes you don't have to know why you feel a certain way. You just have a feeling and you're like, okay, that's fine. I'm going to honor that feeling. I'm going to acknowledge it and I'm going to continue on with my day because like I just said, feelings aren't everything. I'm sure there'll be more 
clips and talking of me in my reverse, but I know that there's something so special in authenticity and most of the time people don't talk about things as they're going through them, but when they come out of them, they're like, oh guys, this is what I was going through and this is how I did it. But I think there's something so awesome and like vulnerable in posting or talking about what you're going through as you're going through it. So that's what I'm gonna try to do here. I always want to be authentic and not sugarcoat anything. I just know that as I'm going through this, it would be nice to hear like other people have struggled with this as well. So um, just posting kind of what I'm feeling and how I'm going about handling these emotions and feelings. And it honestly helps me to talk about it because it's just good to work through your thoughts and emotions. So that concludes this video, just where I'm at with my reverse and there's some training clips in here of me doing random stuff. But um, I love you guys. Let me know any questions that you have below. Um, subscribe, follow my Instagram at Dusty Sock if you're not. And have the most beautiful day. Get some sunshine. Take care of yourself because if you're not take, taken care of, you can't take care of anybody else. So show up for yourself today and I love you. I see you, I see you. All the girls in the club, I got my eyes on you. All the girls in the club, I got my eyes on you. All the girls in the club, I got my eyes on you.